Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back again on Dauntless once more and we are fighting this dude now. He's the shock John Izaga, okay, and I had to farm a lot for this, like as in a lot. Like I had to kill all these monsters just to upgrade my armor and weapons and now as you could see my armor and weapons, especially my weapon, is way above the power that's recommended. But anyway guys before we get further into the video i hope that you all would subscribe if you haven't yet turn on the bell too and also leave a like and comment on this video let's get the, the like goal of 90 likes and i hope that you will also share this video to anyone who you want to share it to and i hope that y'all enjoy it and that you will too so uh, here we are we spawned yeah okay oh yeah yeah we spawned in the map and now we're just running and uh my my thoughts on this guy he was like well, okay, like, so, like, the first few minutes of the match, the first few minutes, I thought we couldn't even take him. I thought he was another one of these super tough bosses. But, well, but that, that didn't actually stay. Like, I think, I think he's not actually as tough as he looks in the first few minutes. But anyway, um, I, I, I wouldn't say he's that easy either since he does have some pretty useful abilities on his side, which could... Which should really annoy you. And we're still searching for him, but he's near, so he's almost there. And he is there. Like just up ahead. There you go. So this guy is basically just like a, a normal Naizaka. Okay, he has the same abilities, same stuff. He looks almost the same too. Like j just look at him. If you play this game, you know what I mean, right? And yeah, he has that. That's the move I'm talking about. Like he shoots down these spikes or whatever. And these spikes, they shoot the electric balls at you. And but the, ele the electric balls, they're not they're no big deal since you can use, you can just dodge them. But if you, if you don't dodge them, then uh, you get like a shock status effect or like uh, uh, well you get a shock status effect. And sometimes you can't heal with that if I'm not wrong. And they also knock you back, which is annoying and quite quite a lot of damage. Well, not so much. It depends on your armor, but. This guy, uh, he's not really the type to run a lot. He uh, usually like attacks. He does like um, charge attacks and swings, but not really the, the type to run. So when you go near to him, then uh, you, you gotta be careful no matter what side you're on, whether it's the front or the back, since um, he can do like 360 attacks and uh, you know even if you're at the back, that's still gonna hit you. But uh, this guy. I don't, really I don't really think he has a weak spot since uh, I don't think no matter how many parts you break off him he, he could still shoot these spikes out and deal that damage and he, he, once, once he starts I mean once the spikes start growing big like that then that means he's gonna shoot more and he's also gonna do some electric attacks like that electric wave you just saw and it's a nice idea to destroy these spikes and, and yeah he charges at you with an electric wave it's just annoying since that does a lot of damage and I, w I wasn't looking there so I got hit by it and you want to destroy these things as much as possible since they do they do like um, support him pretty well to be honest like while you're while you're busy hitting him those things are gonna like shoot you while you're not looking and it's gonna deal that that damage to you while these ones are seem to be special, they have a force field and I'm just trying to shoot it but we can't even and we just keep getting knocked back. Like wh like why? Like why does that happen? Like why do we get knocked back? I, I have no idea why that happens with the f with these force field ones since the normal Naisaka does not have um, the, the spikes with the force field ones from, from what I remember since he only has the normal spikes like these ones. And there we go, he's, he's charging at me again. Like, look at that. Half damage. Just with one hit. Like, like you really gotta be careful. You really gotta look at him. You know, okay, so, the thing here is, you can't just look at him since the spikes will get you, but you also can't just look at the spikes since he will get you too. Like, ain't, ain't that funny. Like, you have to look back and forth. So you gotta be pretty fast and alert. But anyway, um... And that's why I thought he was going to be harder and we couldn't even beat him, but anyway, uh, well, we're clearly getting ahead on him and 
what, what just happened there like a couple of seconds ago. I got knocked back from the, sh from the shock thing since I was just looking at him. And look, that thing still has a force field and I still can't break it open. Like that's really funny, isn't it? Like what? Like, isn't that un isn't that unfair enough already? Like you got all you got all those stuff. You can launch like I don't know, like ten of them or something each time you do it, and they're pretty durable already. Especially since I only have guns. Well, uh, melee will take it out faster. But really, and you you also gotta dodge. Like we just dodge to be sure, since those things can also land on you and deal some pretty good damage. So just dodge on it. I mean, no, not just dodge it, not dodge on it. Okay, okay, it's it's pretty easy to tell when it's gonna shoot, and you could literally see the ball becoming bigger. Okay, so uh, not not a big problem as long as you're looking, and maybe if you memorize the timing. Okay, go ahead. But anyway, here we go. Okay, so he's back to his normal form. He 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 doesn't have the long ass spikes right now, so this is perfect timing to go get him. So, um, here we go, I'm just shooting him, and now he becomes Aether Charged. Aether Charged is not really a problem as long as, uh, as, long as you s you're, you are still able to avoid the attacks of the behemoth. Anyway, um, I'm not sure why he, like, like jumps to his side. I think that's an attack, but the thing is, no one was on his side in that, at in that timing. And yeah, it's definitely an attack since he's facing the spikes at you, and... He's now shooting these red ones. I think these red ones do more damage if I'm not wrong. Since these are either charged. Uh, I, I don't even know what they're called to be honest. They're like turrets or something. I see that one coming so I just dodge it. And I don't think they like. They trace you down. And they become back to yellow. Once he's not in either charged anymore. But I think if you just dodge one. It's not going to come back since. It doesn't chase you. And uh, when he digs underground. Okay, that means phase one is done. He's gonna transfer location, and now um, we're, we're just gonna have to find him again. Okay, and as you can see, the threat level after phase one is just 27%, which is really nice. Since uh, it could have been way worse, for all I know. Like other behemoths, they start to get to level 50. I mean, 50%, and all, even almost 100 past 50. Uh, which is literally a dangerous situation and you, you have to clutch that kind of just to win but here um, we still have a good chance and now we are back on track fighting him since we found his second location and he starts off by putting these these electric ball turrets down like I wish you could have that as a weapon you know it might be in the game I just don't know about it but hope you can ha like once you kill these guys or, like enough of these guys you can craft a weapon like that. Like, come on, that's gonna be cool. You know? And we can finally piss off Terra Behemoth since Terra is weak to, to shock. And th that's why my my uh, my weapons are Terra right now since it's also vice versa. So shock is weak to Terra. And my armor is a shock, okay? Since armor should be the same type or else or else, you know, you're not gonna be able to counter their type. But anyway, here you go, he's back to the jumping on his side, uh, whatever that attack is called, and my teammates deal really a lot of damage, to be honest. Like, I think that's the axe doing the most damage. But there you go, he's back to Aether charged. He's now shooting some of those. Pretty interesting that he only shot a few, and now he only, he only um, stayed in Aether form for like a bit. Which is pretty interesting too. And okay, now he's shooting a lot of these balls. And they're all in one area. So like they all came at you like a wave. And even one dodge ain't enough. And as you and you saw there a couple seconds ago it took quite a lot of damage off. But uh I was fine since I have a shield and I have, I was still at high health, but yeah. And if you're wondering what my drop does, like usually I drop that thing. It's my special which makes my Attack speed faster, and if I'm not wrong, my attack damage. Oh, here he goes. He's in either charge. Oh, wait, he no, he didn't go either charge, but he's still in the long spikes form. I don't even know what you call it, like um, uh, uh sp reinforced spikes or um improved spikes. But now he's dead. 
Oh, and he fell on me, you know? I was gonna put down my flag to taunt him, but no, apparently falling down after he dies is like a final attack. Like, it kills you, it does all that damage. Like, are you kidding me? But but anyway, here we go. We even get to choose an option, I said. It's, it's challenging, more challenging than the most of most other behemoths but anyway guys that's all for today's video i hope you all enjoyed that <laughs> especially that ending where he fell on me which i didn't even know would happen and i didn't even know it does damage and it killed me but anyway guys i hope you all enjoyed this video and remember don't, don't forget to subscribe turn on the bell to leave a like and comment and share this video and i hope you all enjoyed and i, I hope that you're all going to like more of this kind of content and yeah that's all for today guys i will see you all next time peace out bye guys